Hello everyone! This video will show how to change two intercepts form of a line to its equivalent standard form. So what we have is that we're given the two intercept form that's x over a plus y over b equals 1. We're going to transform it to its equivalent ax plus by equals c form. Before we go farther, please feel free to check out the description below for the link of the other series of topics related to linear equation. Before we go over some examples, let's have a review on the basic information of the two intercepts form of a line and the standard form of a line. So if we are given two intercepts of the line that is 0B, which is our y-intercept, and A0 as our x-intercepts, we can use the formula x over A plus y over B equals 1, where again, our A is the x-intercept and the B is the y-intercept. This is called the two-intercept form of a line or the double-intercept form of a line. standard form. This is having a formula ax plus by equals c. Now we remember that our a should always be positive. This standard form is generally used to determine the x and y intercepts of a line. So if we have here this line, it touches on this point on the y-axis and this point on the x-axis, we can determine the coordinates of these two points using this standard form. On the other hand, we also use this standard form in solving systems of equation. <laughs> Okay, going back to the example that we have right here, we are given this two intercepts form of a line where our A is 5 and our B is 4. We are supposed to change it to its equivalent standard form. So I'm going to go ahead and write this equation down here. Okay, what are we going to do is we are going to multiply the A and B values, that's 5, times 4 is 20, and that is the number that we multiply to both sides of the equation. So I multiply this by 20, and I will multiply this by 20. Again, I got the 20 from multiplying 5 times 4, and that is 20. So I go ahead and distribute this 20 to each of the terms inside the parentheses, and our equation would come out. 20 times x is 20x, and that is over 5, plus, that's going to be uh, 20 times y is 20y over 4, and that is equal to 1 times 20 is 20. Now, we simplify this further. 20 divided by 5 is 4, so that's going to be 4x plus 20y divided by 4 is 5y, and that is equal to 20. And this is the equivalent standard form of this equation that we have up there, where our A is 4, our B is 5, and our C is 20. So I'm going to go ahead and write that information up here. Now let's move on to the next example. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done, and pause it and check your answer. Okay, so we go over the problem here. So I'm going to go ahead and write this equation down here. Okay, what are we going to do is we will multiply their denominators. We take their absolute value, so that's going to be 3 times 7. Again, we take the absolute value. Um, 3 times 7 is 21. So I'm going to go ahead and multiply both sides by 21. Okay, again, I got the 21 from the absolute value of 3 times 7 is 21. So I'm going to go ahead and distribute the 21 to each of the terms inside the parentheses. And the equation would come out. Okay, from here, we are going to simplify further. That's going to be 21x divided by negative 3 is negative 7x. And then that's plus 21y divided by 7 is 3y. And that is equal to 
21. Now please notice that our A here is negative 7. For a standard form, the A should not be negative. This tells us that we need to multiply both sides of this equation, both the left and the right, to negative 1. And so we go ahead and distribute this negative 1 to each of the terms inside the parentheses. And the equation would come out... This is the equivalent standard form of this two intercepts form equation that we have up there where our A is 7, our B is negative 3, and the C is negative 21. So I'm going to go ahead and write that down here. Did you get the same answers as this? Yeah! Good. Perfect. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya!